Hi everybody, I'm here with Marian Nixon today. She joined me for the very first session of Pattern Camp um, back in 2014. I think that's right. Yeah, yeah. Um, a year and a half ago. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that is okay. Um, yeah, so we're going to chat a little bit about uh, patterns, obviously, and um, all things surface design. So thank you for joining me, Marian. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Um, so to start, can you just tell everybody a little bit about who you are, what you do, um, where you live, things like that, where we can find you online, that sort of thing. Okay. Um, Marian Nixon. I live in Chicago and I work out of my house. I'm also a real estate agent, although secretly I just want to be an artist. Don't tell my <laughs> clients that. Um, I've been a pattern designer before Pattern Camp. I think I started in the late 90s. I was just a hand painter. I mean, there was no such thing as JPEGs back then, or, mm -hmm. you know. So I was always a hand creator. You know, working on your own is sort of hard to keep learning everything. So I, yeah. um, I was just a hand creator that whole time and did pretty well. I had some good success with it. So anyway, I live in Chicago with my two pugs, who you'll start hearing any minute now, I'm sure. Um, and I took Pattern Camp kind of on a whim. Um, I had taken one Skillshare class and someone recommended Pattern Camp. I'm like, okay, clickety-click, sign up. I had no idea what to expect. Yeah. Um, it was, like I said, the first one, so it wasn't like I could go to the Facebook page and see what people were doing. Right. And the only, yeah. I was intimidated because the only thing I knew how to do electronically, I mean, I, I knew Cork Express because I was a graphic designer years ago, but I um, knew how to scan. I could scan. Hey, that's a really, was a, yeah, that's I an important scan. skill to have when you're making patterns. Yes. And I could scan and I could attach JPEGs to an email. <laughs> that was the extent <laughs> of my technical expertise. And I, I still am not an expert, but I definitely was like the slow student in the class and the oldest student in the class, I believe. Well, no, it's true. I'm 50, I just turned 55 and most people are were younger, you know, so um, whatever. Um, I think there's a, a probably a wider range of ages and skill levels than you may realize. Right, right. But I was one of those ones. I was really, I, I remember writing you to begin with, like, I don't know Photoshop or Illustrator at all. Mm -hmm. And I had them. They were, you know, in the tool thing. Yeah. One of those really things that you were like, I should learn this one day. And then maybe, maybe it would be helpful. Yeah. Enough. Easy to so. be like, well, I guess I didn't do that today. So I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it's hard. It's really hard to do on your own. Cause once you get stuck, you stop. I mean, oh, you know, so frustrating. Class, I would get stuck yeah. and be like, I, I have no idea where I went wrong. Mm -hmm. And, uh, so anyway, that's, did I answer all the questions you asked me? Um, so. Yes, so except for where we can find you online, but I'll oh. link all of that stuff down below the video so everybody can okay. find it and it's click Marianne on it easily. Dot com. So, Perfect. Um, yeah, the only thing you have to remember is M A R I A N M I X O N. Got it. Okay, we'll, we'll link, link to that down below for sure. Okay. Um, yeah, so I want to go back to something that you said um, when you first started telling us about yourself um, that you were a pattern designer, a surface designer before, um, right. kind of in a previous, not a previous life, a, a previous incarnation of what you're doing now. So can you just tell us a little bit about that? Um, yeah. how you were working then, you said you were hand painting, um, why you like what happened in between then and now what brought you back to surface design? Um, I'm just really curious about that. Yeah. Um, Your path, I guess. Yeah. I, so I went, I was a graphic designer and I did educational textbooks mm -hmm. and I really wanted, I used to buy a lot of illustration from all these people, mm. and I really wanted to be the illustrator at home with my hair, you know, <laughs> no makeup, and I didn't want to drive to, you know, I yeah. wanted to be, I was always an artist as a kid, mm -hmm. but I never knew there was this surface design job, right. and I never knew you could be an artist, a professional artist, unless you were, you know, like Trisha Guild or someone who's yeah. like major, has a huge, or, you know, whatever, some other people who might have huge companies. Right. So I, I never, I, it was just one of those weird, like you find your way. So I was an illustrator and then I started hand painting little, you know, those cards you get with flowers and they're mm -hmm. always kind of ugly. So mm -hmm. I started hand painting those oh, and cool. selling them to get to flower stores, which you can imagine I was raking in the cash for those. <laughs> I mean, I think I sold them for 50 cents each and I put them in little wax envelopes. Like so that was the first like stores are buying my stuff, which yeah. really was sort of like, well, someone other than my parents like my work. You right. know? And then I started hand painting boxers and 
you know, mushroom wood boxes and stuff. But I did a lot of hand painting things, mm -hmm. which led me to illustration, which led me to, I was walking, I think, a gift show at the merchandise mart here in Chicago, just to see if I could like, figure out how to get my hand painted stuff. I, I don't know what I was, I just wanted to go. Yeah. And just so figuring it all out. Yeah. Yeah. Just seeing what, and yeah, I love going to those shows. I mean, yeah, you know, well, and it's and totally, and it's overwhelming, um, before you kind of know how this whole world works. Like what is a right. gift show? What is a licensing right. show? What are, like, what is going on at all these different shows yeah. that people seem to be going to all the time? <laughs> right. Especially in the creative field. I mean, you understand there's like a car show or, you know, the, those kind of shows, but I had no idea that there were creative opportunities so I right. went to this gift show and someone mentioned Surtex to me and again this was before computers this was like in the late 90s mm -hmm. I think I had a 2SE a Mac 2SE for design but um you know there were no websites yeah so it's not like you could go to surtex.com and go oh this looks like it's something so I went and made a trip to New York and you know walked the show and my eyeballs like popped out of my head I was like these are my people this is what I do I paint paintings and you know except for I put them on different objects mm -hmm. but I can do this and it was just like the sky opened up yeah because I had never heard of Surtex and mm -hmm. I didn't even realize what it's did for service design and textile design until I don't even know when I know I wondered about that for so long I was like this is the weirdest name and I, I don't know. understand and then I finally put two and two together and was like oh I uh, got yeah. it okay yeah yeah that makes slow student <laughs> so or a dumb name what <laughs> So, mm, okay. Yep. But anyway, so I did the first show, and I remember the first show. Um, I, th I mean, it was a bigger show because, again, people didn't have websites. So if you wanted to show your work, yeah. you had to be at Surtex. Yeah. Unless you were going to mail color copies that you were going to make at Kimco's because you didn't have a color copier either. <laughs> I mean, really, it was not that long ago. It was, it was much more difficult. Late, it was much more difficult. Yeah. But it was also if you didn't, the competition level was lower because right. not everyone could send and had a website and so it you know balances mm -hmm. out it's like you know it just there weren't as many people in right. the, the business so yeah but the first show I think I won a Louis award the first show because I had gotten clients when I walked the show and they made I should have brought the card up but they made this card uh, couch cut out they used to make these plaid couch paintings and um they made a housewarming and I won a Louis award and I was like I didn't know what a Louis award was <laughs> and um so anyway, I, I remember people like waiting to talk to me and, and I just had color copies, you know, tacked up in my booth and mm -hmm. stuff. But it was like, I, I, I honestly came home five inches taller. I just felt like I have found what I've been looking for. Yeah. So I did that for quite a few years. And then, you know, there came sort of a mixture of the economy in the late 2000s, kind of mm -hmm. like a store that closed. Those were, you know, it's hard enough to get shelf space as it is. Yeah. But every store that closed, every Kmart that merged, or whatever the store, you know, Marshall Fields went out of bit. I mean, all these stores kind of went down. And at the same time, graphic, more graphic patterns came in rather mm -hmm. than hand painting. It came, mm -hmm. The styles got to change. And I, of course, you don't know until hindsight that, oh, that's what happened. Mm -hmm. So I was like, well, my stuff just isn't made. You know, people aren't, like, licensing it anymore. Mm -hmm. So I, at the same time, I got my real estate license. And... We also didn't know the real estate market was crazy. <laughs> so I always felt like I'm not working hard enough. So yeah. I started working harder on real estate thinking, you know, I got to work harder and it can't really be. So I kind of put this aside a mm -hmm. little bit and focus more on that. And then, you know, it just, I, I never stopped doing it, but I did stop showing at Surtex for a while yeah. because the show just, you know, it, it just isn't as crowded as it used to be. Uh -huh. And I, it, you know it's expensive so it is quite an investment it is it's like you know it's what almost five thousand for the booth and mm -hmm. when you get if you want electricity all the printing and, like and all that yeah mm -hmm. I mean, it's crazy yeah. you know um but it's worth it and i love going um so that's sort of my path i think um mm -hmm. so i'm back doing it I, I do a lot of different things but the whole pattern camp thing just not only taught me to do repeats, which is what I thought I was going to go learn, mm -hmm. just opened my eyes to different, you know, your eyes just sort of, your brain starts working differently if you learn a new something. Because yeah. I, God, my, 
I can draw on top of a, a repeat. I can draw on my iPad. Or, mm-hmm. you know, it's just, it's just, I, I can't stop. I mean, I am, I can You literally couch. can't stop. I mean, I like for I anyone who, yeah, Marion makes so much work. It's unbelievable. It is. And it's perfect for me because I am not, I've never used oil paints because I don't have the patience. Mm-hmm. I'm not mixing colors. I was always sort of felt like I was a cheater because I used the, um, the little pans of watercolors, which I have right over there because I don't want to mix colors. Mm-hmm. I just want to paint. So don't make me do the preparation. Just let me paint. Totally. So, <laughs> the apps and stuff just make me, you know, like it's it's so quick, and you yeah. know, if you have, I mean, obviously you have to have material to put in to get something out. It's kind of right. like it's not, not every, magic, totally. It's not but magic. Yeah. No, it's kind of like this. Just because you have a computer doesn't make you a writer. You got to put some good stuff in to get good stuff out. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's it's just there are endless options now yeah so I'm curious what um what changed for you like what made you um since you weren't working digitally before and you were hand painting what um what kind of brought you to the computer this time around um um well I knew you know there's certain clients that want things set up and repeat mm-hmm. fabric people do mm-hmm. um wallpaper, you know, there's certain things that they like to repeat. And I never quite, I understood it, but I never got it. And, mm-hmm. you know, sometimes you see these people doing the handmade repeats where they fold things. And it's <laughs> like, ah, it's so confusing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it just, that is so much work and it would really prevent me from being creative because I'd be having to do, so I just, it, it never, I never even went that way. Mm-hmm. Um, so I just, yeah, I, I think just learning how to do repeats, I thought that would open me up to more because I do think some of my stuff might be appropriate for fabric, definitely fabric. I would love to do wallpaper mm-hmm. um, and some, you know, some other, well, my mind is blank. Oh, I guess wrapping paper. Yeah. Another thing that they like. Yep. In uh, all those things repeat for sure. Yeah. 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 So I just thought, well, I should make myself more marketable. Yeah. And even last year was the first year at Surtex that I could say, I can do repeats and people are like, Oh good. That's good. That's good to yeah. know. Even if, you know, they'd rather do it themselves. It's good to know. It's, it's good a good to skill to have. have. Yeah. Or at least if you're not doing it, you need to know the language in which to set up your piece. So someone else can do it. Yeah. You know, you need to, you, you, there's certain things you want to be, Oh, I don't want to put that over there because then it's going to fall over. Like, you know, now I understand. Yeah certain things. I don't yeah. understand everything. I will have to take pattern camp again because there is a lot. <laughs> when you were a blank slate, you knew nothing. Yeah. Before. Well, I mean, I think even when you're not a blank slate, there's always, always right. more to learn. You know, I, right. I remember somebody saying at some point that whenever you feel like you know everything, right. it's time to start doing something else. Like you're, yes. yeah, yeah. There's just always more to learn. Yeah. Well, or if there's not more to learn, they come out with a new illustrator and then it's a new technique and then there's, you know, which is great, but, um, great. And also annoying (laughs) in my humble opinion. No, I agree. I agree. You just want to be like, let me just catch up for a minute. You know, don't, I mean, there's always, you know, Oh, there's a new website. Mm -hmm. Oh, go on Ella. Go on. I'm like, no, I'm like, no, I just got, got a hold of the, this latest version like don't change it again understand it i just understood instagram just yeah could I just stick with it for a little bit? yeah Please. nope <laughs> so. um so you already alluded to this a little bit but um what has changed for you um in exhibiting at Surtex again after taking a little bit of time off and having these new digital skills that you weren't using before, um, like what what kind of difference has that made just in working with clients? Um, you mentioned using the right language that people are using these days. Right. Like, I'm just curious how having these digital pattern skills has um, evolved your work, I guess. Well... Um, it, I think it has, I mean, I've never really thought about it, so I'm just going to pretend like I have a cohesive thought to say, but I, <laughs> I just think it, it opens me up to more clients. Like, for mm-hmm. example, there's one client, and I still am struggling with this. They, they print a certain way. They print, and I can't remember what it's called, but it's very flat colors. Mm-hmm. And you've seen these products. They're in Crate Barrel or whatever, but mm-hmm. they're, so they're like, 
you know, if it's Christmas, it's red and green and blue or something like that. There's no variation within that color. Now, if you paint in watercolor, like if you paint in watercolor, you get, even though that's just pink, it's 16 different pinks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Different, and, and, and the next one over here, even though it's the same color. So they can't print, They I can't, even though my patterns themselves lend themselves style-wise, the way I develop the piece, I, I just was not able to work with them. Mm -hmm. So now that I can do digitally, I can do, um, you know, it's kind of the same pattern, but I can color it digitally. So every single, and they can even give me the colors. Mm -hmm. Every single one, the exact same color. Yeah. And that's helpful. So I just, it's changed my work a little bit because it looks different than watercolor mm -hmm. or I do a lot of collage too. Uh, but I do a lot of layering now and I just, I just think it's made me, I don't know. I like, I mean, it's, you know, I think everyone likes their work better as they go along yeah. because otherwise you wouldn't be doing that. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I just, I think it's opened up the opportunities to be on different kind of products and different, it appeals to different people. Mm -hmm. It's graphic, but it's not the graphic that we saw a few years ago. Like I'd go down the aisle in Target and be like all plaids, which I love plaids, but it'd be all, you know, just very flat colors. Mm -hmm. So it's not, my stuff isn't graphic like that, but it's, I don't know. You're going to have to edit this part because I don't. <laughs> even, I do not expect you to have a clear, concise yeah, answer for everything. Yeah, no, it's a really everything. good question. Um, I think it also helps, like, there's certain pieces you can do. Like, um, I pulled out some of the pattern cam things. Like, I pulled out the first, I think this is the first one I ever did. And I was like, I'm going to use as many colors as I can. I remember that I, one. <laughs> it was a bunch of flowers. And I was like, oh, I can change the black and purple and blue. So that was like one of the first ones. But then I started doing these. Like, this, this is all the same pattern. So this is this floral pattern. I remember this that one exact, too. This is the exact same pattern, but I put it on butcher paper. So cool. it's bubbled up in the background. So it, I think it, you know, a client might say, well, you know what? I love those pastel colors, but we really are focusing on a dark blue this summer. Yeah. And you can say, no problem. Yep. I'll, be, I'll have it to you. I don't want to send it too soon, but I can do it like that. Yeah. You know, so. <laughs> that's that's going to take me three seconds to change, but I'm going to make you think hard. that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> change me because yeah. it's a pattern. So that, just knowing that I can do that makes me you know, easier to work with mm -hmm. and it makes it easier for me to get things done for people. So, yeah. um, it's just more tools in the toolbox, really it's tools and the more tools you, I've just noticed partially cause I did kind of stop doing a lot of artwork all the time. And, and when I started doing the pattern camp and doing repeats, your brain just starts working on that stuff when I'm running, when I'm sleeping, when I'm trying to sleep, <laughs> it really, it's, it's like, it just automatically, my, my brain, when I'm, when I'm feeling good about it, my brain will start going, oh my God, I'm gonna, I can do this and then I can layer it on, like this, you know, putting it on butcher paper was like, I love the texture of burlap and yeah, and stuff. And I used to just paint on old wallpaper and now I can take a picture of the wallpaper and paint on top. Totally. And, and again, so, um, you know, it's just, it's woken me up. It's, it's, yeah. It's, oh, and it, it's great. I love that. Oh my gosh. That. I'm telling you, you know, I am such a fan because I just think it, I had no idea that that would happen. Yeah. Well, and I love that you said that because, um, just this morning, I actually just posted on Instagram. I know this is going to be dated once people are actually watching this, but this morning on April 13th, 2016, I just posted on Instagram, um, a, an image of my very first pattern that I ever created oh, really? back in 2008. Um, and I wrote something about how just that feeling that I got, like when it finally worked and it was like, it just felt so good. I still feel that way. Like yeah, I just, but too. I remember that feeling of like, Oh my God, this is available to me. I've, right. I was woken up right. and I didn't know that that existed before. Right. And it's, it's just the best feeling. It and it's so silly in a way because it's just like, it's just a pattern. It's just, you know, some pretty oh, no. stuff that you can like put on some 
stuff, but it's so much more than that. It is. It really is. I mean, when I am on a roll and making stuff that I love, first of all, I want to show it to somebody. So I think that's another thing about Pattern Camp. Like, yeah. you can show it to your friends. You can show it to your parents. You can show it to your whoever, mm -hmm. your significant other. You can show it to your dog. Yep. Your cat. But to, <laughs> for Pattern Camp, to get that, like, that's one of the things about Surtex that I was, it was like, why I came home five inches taller. It was like, I went there like, okay, I'm going to show my stuff to people who don't know me. And they actually liked it. Mm -hmm. So, but you can't do that all the time. Like, yeah. You can show your husband. Again, I don't have a husband. I, I'm going to meet one in Pattern Camp. <laughs> <laughs> all those uh, boys that you, sign up. <laughs> you can show certain people. And anything on Facebook, you know, I've started to do more about the marketing on Facebook. And I'm thinking, but, yeah. you know, I'm sure some people are like, oh, why is she showing her florals again? You know, but obviously that's how we market. Yeah. But in Pattern Camp, we... You know, it was like being at a big, huge table, and we were all like, look what I made, look what I made. And we were punching <laughs> each other. And that, something about that with artists, I mean, it's like with singers, you know, they don't sing at home. They want people to hear it. And, mm -hmm. they, and even, they want people to hear it and buy it, and they want to go out, and they want to see people's reactions. Yeah. That's why they play live. Same with, it I've always heard them. actors say... They like being in the theater more, because, you know, doing the theater more. And I always thought, how boring to do the same thing every night. Mm -hmm. I think they like the reaction. Yeah. Me. Well, and I, because I bet it doesn't feel at all like the same thing every night. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But they also, I think it's just being, you know, doing, doing what you think you do best and getting people to go, that's really nice. That's yeah. Cool. Sounds good. That's pretty. You yeah. do, you know, you do good. Mm -hmm. so, Feels um, good. Yeah. So yeah. I don't even remember what the question was, but I think... Oh, I don't remember what the question was either. <laughs> how happy it makes us. I mean, I think that's yeah. part of being an artist. That's the, that just shows that we're in the right place, you know? that. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, you know, I never... I always thought there was something wrong with me when I was younger. I was in, like, a, you know, lovely, well-paying graphic design job mm -hmm. with nice people. I hated it. Yeah, always, and even I think when I was a little kid in school, I'd always want to be like the one who went to clean the erasers, or you know, like I just, I didn't, I didn't want to. I just always wanted to be outside, mm -hmm. or you know, I always felt like I was missing something out there or something. So when I'm, the only time I don't feel like that pretty much is when I'm creating art. I'm like, I'm, you know, hours can go by. Yeah, and I'm happy. Yeah, so, we're in the right place. Yeah, yeah. definitely in the right place. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. And our pattern camp group is just basically full of people who are just exactly the same way. So it's pretty awesome. <laughs> you know, I can still, I still remember that weekend sitting in my little office over there and like, like being scared to take a break because I didn't want to miss anything. And yeah. Even, like, I just, well, first of all, I was the one who was like, hell, <laughs> what did you, what does it mean to like, I just, I really, I was the special student in the front of the class raising my hand at the time, but, um, <laughs> but I think, but I have to say, I do think it helped, um, it helped because I did have to learn things differently and then I could answer questions because I'd made so many mistakes. Yeah. You would explain it to me and then someone else would go, I remember we all had that white line. Everyone has that white line. It's mm -hmm. really a phantom white line. Um, yeah, and then there was another. I don't know. There were a couple of things that everyone kept, and I was like, "Oh, I know the answer." Yeah, because I made that mistake several. Yeah, times. well, and then it reinforces it for you, so you don't make that mistake again. Yeah, totally. Right. Yeah. yeah. So I'm wondering if that was um, a surprise to you during pattern camp. Um, not everyone goes through the course during those like intensive two days. Some people, you know, pop in and out during the weekend. Some people do it for the month afterwards, just kind of popping in when they can. But I've heard from a number of people, and I'm wondering if you're the same, that the thought of sitting at your computer for eight hours for two days straight, just learning this stuff, didn't really sound that fun. Like, that's a long time to just sit in front of your yeah. computer. But then afterwards, like, oh my gosh, I didn't want it to end. I can't believe that 16 hours went so fast. Like, how is it over? I'm so sad that it's over. Yes. I was really surprised about that too because I thought, okay, like I'm gonna, I'm also gonna be sitting at my computer for that long, and it's gonna be intense and tiring, and it was, but it was oh, like I didn't want to leave either. I know it was just so fun. Yeah, I, I was. Well, I have to say, I was really impressed with your patience and the fact that I mean, you know, you're asked the same questions over and over again, but 
the Australians and <laughs> with the British. And the, I mean, I thought that was so cool that there were people from yeah. the first camp. It, it yeah, was first all camp, over the world. More so, I think, as we've gone on. But um, I didn't, I was worried about what happens when I have to go pee. What about walking my dog? You know, <laughs> and, and, you know, snacks and eating. And um, because I didn't quite realize, even if I missed a segment, I can go back yeah. for the extra weeks, which turned into, you know, I think that was a great thing that you made it go a little bit longer, but did put a deadline on it. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I, I just, I think I, I just sort of, well, like, you know, it's going to happen, whatever happens, it'll work out. Mm-hmm. Um, but I did not, I didn't know what to expect. Quite yeah. Yet. And um, that's good. I surprised you all. <laughs> And I'm more, I think I'm more open to that because I have made so many changes in my life. You know, mm-hmm. I've moved a lot of times. I've changed jobs a lot of times. I've, you know, maybe going to get married, maybe then not, you know, like yeah. there, there's so many things that it's like, okay, well now I have to go this way. Mm-hmm. So I just, I'm not afraid of like, okay, well, let's just see what happens. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, well, that is a very perfect segue into what I wanted to ask you next or chat about next. Um, because I know that there are lots of people just, you know, judging by the emails that I get from people and comments that I hear, people who are really afraid to sign up for the course, even if it's something that they've wanted to learn how to do for a long time, whether they dream of being a surface designer or they just want to learn how to make a pattern so they can make some curtains for their kitchen yes. or, you know, cause this doesn't have to be, you don't have to take the class because you want to do this as a career. This can right. be a, just a for fun kind of thing. Totally. But I yeah. know there are lots of people out there who, you know, are in the position that you were in. You didn't know how to use Illustrator or Photoshop at all before at you all. came to class. Yeah. Um, people who may think, well, I'm not an artist at all. Like, I don't know how to draw. I don't know how to do what these other people are doing. You know, just getting into that right. comparison crap right. that plagues, you yes. know. I, I don't want to generalize and say all of us, but it's probably all of us. <laughs> it, yeah, certainly me. Especially being creative. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just wondering if you um, have any wisdom that you can share with people who might be in that position of just like having this or something in general that feels really exciting and like it's calling them, but they're afraid for whatever yeah. reason. They're, yeah, yeah whatever reason. Any, well, any wisdom? Yeah, I, I think, I mean, you know, I joke that I was the oldest one in the class, but I think it does um, because I have a little more experience with, you know, success, failure, you know, disappointment. Yeah. I, I am not as afraid. Um, I, I have one of my, this is sort of a little bit of off the subject and then I'll get that, but I have a friend um, who I went to high school with. I think she's, she's a year younger. She's been married her, you know, whole adult life. And she and I were doing a deal together. And she was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to New York this weekend with my sister, blah, blah, blah. But she has to leave Saturday, so I think I'm going to come home early. I'm like, well, why don't you stay? And, I mean, there's so much, you know, especially in the summer, you walk around, there's art fairs. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to stay by myself. Mm. I love going to New York by myself. Yeah. And, you know, so there is, a part of it is I had to go by myself because yeah. I didn't, I don't have somebody, you know, to send me. I don't have a job to send yeah. me. I don't have a person, you know, I don't, I don't belong to a company where you go together. So, um, so I don't know why I was, I think because I so for so long didn't know how to find, didn't know how to learn this stuff, didn't know how to learn. And I actually, I think when I signed up for pattern camp, I don't think I knew it was going to be a hundred percent Photoshop. And I mean, not a hundred percent cause you draw and stuff too, but, um, I didn't, I think when I first initially like emailed you and said, I don't know these things and, you know, will I be okay? And will this class be good for me? I, I didn't know. So I just sort of, I kind of like put my feet in the water and then I went into my, up to my knees and then I was like, I'm going to, I'm just going to dive in. Mm-hmm. Um, and I don't know why I thought I could do it. Cause I really, well, cause <laughs> what did you have to lose? Really? Exactly. I think that's what I thought. And it, it was like, I mean, I've, if I wanted to, I could just turn the computer off and walk away. I mean, mm-hmm. I, 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 um, so, and, and you probably wouldn't have even noticed. Yeah. You, we weren't on. I didn't have to brush my hair. We weren't, <laughs> weren't on. Right. right. Everyone so, was just yeah, like in their PJs with their cats on their laps. 
I it mean, wasn't very expensive. It was the slow time in real estate, and it was something I wanted to learn. Mm -hmm. So I just figured it was almost just like, you know, this. I think it was Lisa. Is it Condren? Condren? Mm -hmm. Lisa, Lisa Condren. So, I think it was her. Oh, you found it through her. Yeah, I found it through her because I was. She was on the Skillshare lecture, and she and she, she would hit and interviewed another person I knew. So I wrote her. I'm like, oh my god, I can't believe you two are friends. Thank you so much. I loved your yeah. class. But I, you know, and I gave her a little of my background. I think we chatted a little bit, and she said, "Oh, my friend's starting this class," and that's how I found it. Cool. And I think by the time I sort of talked to her about it, and then I talked to you about it, I was like, "Yay!" I'm gonna <laughs> do this because I think yeah. this could be something. You know, this is a way for me to learn finally what all these people are starting to know. I don't mm -hmm. want to be one of those people who, like, you know, who is like, "Oh, that's for kids these days." You know, mm. I wanted to apply what I have to yeah apply these new tools to what I have already. Right. So, but I was, I, I, you know, I think I, I had, I watched those little, you had those little like pre videos about Photoshop and yeah, and the primer Twitter. videos. I think mm -hmm. I watched those several times Yeah, because I, I mean, really even just getting to know the tools and which tool did what, I mean, it's, yeah, there's a steep, a language. steep learning curve. Um, if yeah. you're starting right from the beginning, Right. Um, one thing that I particularly loved um, about having you in class, though, is that you were just, like, so hilarious, and I could tell that even when you were struggling, because there's going to be struggle when you don't know what you're doing in the beginning. Like, it just right. is part of right. how it goes for everyone. Um, yeah. You just were, yeah. like, making fun of yourself, and you were obviously, like, taking it seriously, but not taking it too seriously, and, like getting really angry and I just thought that was such a great I mean maybe you were getting angry I don't know maybe I'm putting words no. in your mouth but you didn't no. seem you seemed like you were just having a blast and being like oh my god I have no idea what I'm doing this is so fun yeah and I just think that's such a wise way to go into something that's brand new for yeah. you I think that's, I, I, again, I don't mean to dwell on this age thing, but I think it comes with age because I am not the most patient person. I am <laughs> not, I, I tried, like the other day I was trying to do this mantra when I was running, don't judge, just be, don't judge, just be. Like, because even if you're judging positively, you're judging. Yeah. And it's so hard not to do it. And you know, if I'm doing it to other people, you know I'm doing it to myself. Totally. Yeah. So if I could stop doing it to other people, maybe I can be a little easier on myself. So oh, I, I think that. that's come with age a little bit, but I also think I knew I knew that you would help me, you know, like mm -hmm. I knew that if I just, I, I knew it wasn't a race. I knew I couldn't be the only one who was like having a problem. Yeah. Oh, that's and, a really important thing yeah. to remember. Yeah. You're never going to be the only one that doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> right. And I really, I mean, there was one person who had a really hard time and I really, I wrote her on the side and I don't know her. Mm -hmm. uh, she has a really nice work mm -hmm. and I wrote her on the side. I'm like, just, you know, just stick it with it. Jessica will help you. And, you know, because you were like, I mean, everyone was tugging at your hair, you know, your hair. Yeah. You know, like, help me, help me, help me. Yeah. I, I would have screamed. I would have been like, I answered that 20 minutes. <laughs> I would have been so impatient. But, um, I just, I just, I knew I wouldn't learn everything, I guess, kind of, but I knew, I think by the time I got stuck, I had already learned something. So I knew that I was like, oh, this is good. Yeah. You know, this is a good thing. Yeah. So um, I, I think I was just in a good mood because I knew <laughs> that it would be fun. You yeah. Know? And I knew. And it is I fun. Oh, my gosh. I would be ahead of where I was. You right. Know? So, and that's why I took it the second time. I'm like, I, it, it, there's so much to know. Yeah. And, you know something I didn't get last time. I I mean, you really, it's like, oh, I didn't even hear that last time. Yeah. You're so focused on what you're learning. You have to pick and choose yeah. what's important to the piece you're doing right then and there. Yeah. Well, I think that's a good um, piece of advice too, is that is don't expect yourself to just get everything and remember it in your brain and have that be that. Okay. Learned that. I'm done. Like right. it doesn't work that way. No, there's no, just you take what you need so and, then, much. and then as you go along, you get something else and you, you know, it's kind of like maybe working out with weights. You pick up your lighter weights and you do what you can. And then, oh, well, now I, I, I learned, you know, my, I'm fine with that. I'm going to get to the next one now. And mm -hmm. I'll put, bring some more tricks in. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah. I, I think that, yeah, I was, I was, literally, I was sitting at my desk raising my hand. <laughs> I was like, oh. I just, there were a lot of uh, 
a lot of confusions on the on my part. Yeah, so. but look at you now. I mean, you yeah, made your way really through. Cool. You're about to exhibit at Surtex for the second. Well, not for the second time, but for yeah. the yeah, second yeah, recent row, time. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't wait. I love going. And, yeah. Um, yeah, and I, you know, I just said the other day to someone I was having dinner with. I was like, I'm. I don't know if I've ever said this before. I'm always excited to go. But this year, I'm really excited to show my work. And maybe maybe I just really like it better and everyone else is going to be sort of like, oh, that's Marion, you know, whatever. Well, but, but isn't that the first most important thing is that yes. you feel really in love with your own work? That's yeah. what I really love about Pattern Camp, too, is that everyone seems to just be, like, looking at what everyone else is doing and being excited with and for everyone, but really just making their own work. Yeah. Because they love what they're making. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I love, I haven't really, um, because I am getting ready for Surtex and I'm, it's a busy season in real estate, I haven't done the weekly challenges, mm -hmm. but, you, you know, people didn't know what ICAT was, and I kind of didn't, I mean, I kind of yeah. knew what it was, but I didn't know the name. Till like last year when yeah and look at all these people who are now like, I know it's so and, fun I know so that's a really good addition to and it keeps yeah. everyone um you know like at first we were really a cohesive group and then you know some people fall off and some people stay and then even I felt like well I, I really want to show everyone my new picture but am I you know I'm not in pattern camp this third time should I keep still po and you, you did say to keep posting oh my gosh stuff. yes always but I do feel like you know, when it, when there's a new class starting, I want to step back and just let them do, you know, like you guys are having a new conversation and let that yeah. happen. But, um, but the new weekly challenge has really, I think it keeps people in touch. And I think so and too. And another thing, Pat, Pat Camp, last year, you know, we, a bunch of us met at Surtex. I know. It's like real life friends now. It's so cool. Yeah. And we had drinks after, and we, <laughs> you know, like, I mean, it's like, if you already know each other. Yeah. You know? So it was yeah, because really in a way, it's like you we're all kind of struggling together because people are asking questions in the group. Like you know exactly what people are having a hard time with. Like you get yeah, you just get to know each other in yeah. this really interesting way. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I know. I have a, this big dream that one day we're just gonna get like you know hundreds and hundreds of pattern campers together somewhere somehow. And like in my dream, I've told you is like. For some reason, I like the idea of a lodge, like in Colorado or something. Or that's where I'm from. Did okay, you know that? So we'll go from to Colorado, this mm -hmm. big lodge where we have our own rooms because I like my own room. And that <laughs> but we all meet like in the big common room. Yeah. In the mornings and do like big table projects where we're actually you know doing hand things, but we also have our laptops and, and yeah. it is a hands-on like that. Literally a camp. Yeah. But we're not camp. We're gonna sleep in our hotel rooms. That's okay. a nice. Yeah, <laughs> but and then we'd have dinners and you know we'd go on hikes and I, oh yeah, yeah and stay up late and talk about all kinds of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and maybe have a little bit of wine to drink. So or I just maybe think that would be a little so more than a little bit. Yeah, maybe, a little maybe, bit. yeah, yeah. Well, when Baby Cohen is a little bit older, yes. then that yeah. will become a reality because I also think that sounds so fun. I know, so and fun. people, especially because so much is done now on, I mean, look, we're meeting on the computer, mm -hmm. you know, like, and that's great, because uh, you're, we would be... Like, it is, I'd we would have never met before, most likely. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. And um, I think, though, these little um, in-person-y kind of things are going to become more, kind of like little bookstores are coming back. Yeah. They first killed them, but now the little ones are, you know, Barnes & Nobles are closing, which mm -hmm. is sad. I just think people still want to be, especially this kind of thing. You want to create together, and yeah. you want to, you know, look what I made, and yeah, oh, so you did this and that, and you know, or you know, let's do this. Oh, I want to take your pattern and let's put it, scan it, and put this on top. And, yeah, you know, that kind of stuff would be so, and just even literally painting and drawing together would be so much fun. Mm -hmm. so, so fun! Oh my gosh! Okay, I'm like all excited again about this idea. I know. Yeah, I know. It'd be fun, and everyone just pays their way, and mm -hmm. pays, you know. Yeah, chips in and makes it a fun, like, three- or four-day long weekend or something. and Kind of like the illustration conference. Yeah. But not so luxury. You know, more hands-on. Right. Yeah. So. Okay. Well, right. it's up here, so we'll right. make it happen. <laughs> Except to find the lodge. Yeah. Oh, that'll be a piece of cake. I have a certain picture in my mind. Yeah. There's a picture of a lodge. So okay. Okay, well... Well, I'll make it Marion approved before okay. anything goes forward. <laughs> um, anything else that you want to add before we 
sign I'll, off. I'll, just... I'll, I'll think of things I want to say, but um, I, I just want to thank you. It, was, it really opened my eyes, and you were so patient. I oh. never felt as many questions as I asked. I never felt like you were short with me, and you know, and being a little less patient myself, <laughs> of course, was just assuming, you know. You know, I was being a little bit greedy with your time. No. I just, I, you, you're a great instructor. Oh, and thank you. Really clear and concise and patient. And obviously, you know your stuff. So Yeah, uh, thank you. Yeah, you've really in a, been. In a weird way, it felt sort of um, really exciting for me to be having all of these questions and confusions and needs being like, you know, bombarding me all day for both days during the weekend. Like, challenging myself to keep up with everything and answer everyone's questions. And like, right. you know, I'd like get everything answered and be like, okay, I need to go downstairs and get some water. And then I'd come back upstairs and there'd be like another pile of questions. I was like, okay, I can do this. So it yes. was fun. It was exciting. Well, yeah, because you succeeded. That's the thing. I mean, look at what, I mean, I don't know how many people have taken it now, but you really have created it. I mean, you are a mama pattern. Mama yeah. pattern. Aww. Aww. We're the pattern heads. I know. So. I love it. You've you've made a I mean it's a great little business that you've made for yourself. Oh, aside thank from you. Pattern. Yeah, so it's it's um yeah it's been a nice surprise for me. I thought it would be really fun and you know fun thing to do to teach people how to make patterns, but it's just right. become so much more than that for me. Yeah, and you know for a lot of the people who have taken the course, I think so. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, it's a game changer. It really is. Uh, and, and I think I don't know if I. I um, touched enough on people who are intimidated. It's always intimidating when you don't know what you're doing. When yeah. You don't know, you know, where it's going. And it's, that's always, that's so natural. So I don't want to, you know, just because I was a designer before and I had success in the, in the field doesn't, I really, that didn't matter at pattern camp. You mm -hmm. know, it doesn't even matter if you can draw really because anyone can make a little stick figure and, you can fix it and do things with it in, in the, on the computer. So, yeah, uh, you know, if it's of interest to people, I just think take a little, a little bit of risk. And, and, you know, if you if you can financially deal with it, it's not that expensive. If you have the time, I know a lot of people have families and can't devote the time. But, mm -hmm. but because you have the videos available too, you, you know, devote a little bit of a chunk yeah, of time. Yeah, can make it work. You can make it work. And mm -hmm. it, it really, the only intimidating part is the very beginning when you are – not don't know what you're doing yeah but other than that you just go and yeah. it's fun so. awesome well thank you for you're all welcome. of that yes thanks for talking to me yeah first. thank thank you for talking to me i know it's it's nice to finally like hear your voice and see your face and no yeah one day you're really in the background yeah <laughs> you, know, you can come to search next next year yeah because cohen will be bigger cohen will be bigger yeah unless there's another little one <sighs> you never know you never know we're not going there yet. <laughs> anyway, that's a whole other conversation. <laughs> so anyway, thank you so much. It was great chatting with you. And I think this will be a really useful conversation for people who are tuning in. Hi, pattern heads. <laughs> yes. You want to, you want, before we go, do you want to just see one thing? Yeah. I want to see my intern. This is the intern. The little, this is the little intern. That's oh, Marie. my goodness. Hello, Murray. Oh. By chewing up things that are left on the floor on accident. That's the goodest way. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> Pay attention to me. <laughs> Down here too. Oh, I gotta give fair fair. Oh, that's Leo. Hi, Leo. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry we didn't name Cohen after Murray or Leo, like you suggested. Yeah, no, the I, next I just one. Had a call. I just wanted to ask. <laughs>